Good morning, everybody. It's Kurt H. I am the Lazy Farmer. How's everybody doing? And welcome back to another day. It's Sunday morning. If it's Sunday morning, it's got to be Railroader. It's starting to turn out what it's, it's going to be. I think Saturday mornings will be Run 8. Um, Sunday mornings, 
will be Railroader. Uh, Farm Sim Friday will still be on Fridays as soon as things calm down. Uh, we're finishing up, coming to the end of a lot of our spring sports at where I work. So, um, and we still have a couple of people out on injuries. So anyway, let's get into it. Let's do this. I've got, was it day 18, $7,000 in the bank. And I've got like 29 cars that I sorted yesterday. I've been busy for the last couple of days. Um, and we've got well, 29 cars sorted, ready to go to the Silva. i got to drop off some cars at uh, in Whittier. So running the some kind of madness, I blame Quincy. I'm gonna, I tell you right now, I'm blaming Quincy. Uh, running some kind of madness mod. Uh, literally, I get cars from the industries now. Uh, there's a new, in I did add a new mod as well too. Bryson Industries adds a whole bunch of new industries to Bryson. So pretty much the mods that I'm running, I'm getting off of Nexus mods. And you'll need um, Rail Loader installer for some of these mods. They explain it if you read through everything very carefully. Um, and making sure when don't do like I did yesterday. And thanks to I want to give a big shout out to Quincy because he helped me out and just work through some things like what did I do? Um, and oops, okay, we're connected. There we go. So what did I do because mods weren't working? Well, I found out it's because well. I technically, when I download mods or anything like that, I don't download the beta versions. You got to download the beta versions. Anything that you see that has the beta version out there, download the beta versions. Uh, and then just be aware there may be some updates coming as well. Anyway, uh, I'm not alone today. The server is up for Railroader. I've got my good buddy Goliath. His name is also Robert. And he is hanging out in here with me. He's in Discord. So, and we're in the Railroader chat channel in Discord. So, uh, if you want to come in and chat, you can. Be respectful. Robert, how you doing? Closer not, well, not you need to be respectful. You're always respectful. So, but no, I'm just saying it is open for other people. Uh, if they want to come in and play, I think I got room for two more. I've limited the number of people. So... But anyway, oh, er, 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 keep falling off this tender. I'm going to back this thing. Actually, why am I getting on the tender? I don't want to be on the tender. All right, I got land, the switches lined out to the main line, taking main line authority. We got to pull this string out, push back, grab that small one over there that I sorted, and we got everything all set. And then I'll head toward you. Yeah, uh, Whittier said I am just now getting those cars off that off Perfect. the W1 track. So Perfect. Clear path through. Perfect. Awesome. So, yeah, and what else we got? We've got um, cars and walker. Um, that Those should be loaded with logs. Those need to come down and then you know, bring them down, and we'll somehow figure out how to get them into the sawmill. Because that's the first time we're getting logs from walker. Um, also, uh, we've probably got cars. I think we got cars we got a lot of damage oh my goodness we got a lot of damaged cars um and not entirely our fault well last night the two that i damaged was my fault because quite frankly i well it was a combination i was railroading i was super tired one o'clock in the morning watching the new fallout series and g go figure today on steam i noticed that there is a big sale on the fallout bundle so and that's like i think i've got uh, I have to go look at my library. I think I have Fallout in my library, but I'm watching that new series and it's making me want to reinstall it and start playing it again. Um, and then I think part of that bundle, it's like for $2, is the original Fallout game as well, too. Um, oh, the one crazy. that started, uh, the very original one, uh, which, you know, you do everything from the top-down view, and yeah, it's that, that one. I really enjoyed that one, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, it had, they took it off the market. I think it's back on the, in that bundle. But then again, Probably to be honest, is. to be honest, I've not really looked. So that may be something I may go grab. And I think, um, I think the Fallout game, I think it's cross-platform. 
Um, I believe so. Don't quote yeah. me on that, though. But yeah, because then I go back and I'll start playing with, if it's cross-platform. Because I know my son plays it on console. I, of course, I play everything PC. I'm not one of those console guys. All right, let's go ahead and bring this to. I us. have a console, but yeah, I generally most all my gaming is on my PC. So. Yeah, I have. I had a console. I gave it to my daughter Tana Marie, which, by the way, guys, Tana's got a brand new computer. So all that lag that was being caused by our old computer, uh, we're gonna put that to the test here soon. Um, it's not probably. I don't expect it to be this weekend, just because she's dealing so, with something on a personal note. I will not be talking about it because, um, yeah, it's not a good situation. Um, she's fine. She's okay. It just it's it's somebody else is very close to her, so she's dealing with that. And so I don't expect her. She's not even home. Um, she got a brand new computer just to have to go out of town. But she did say she fired up Demonologist and no lag whatsoever. So Baldur's nice. Gate, no lag whatsoever. So I see some Baldur's Gate multiplayer in the near future with her and I. Uh, definitely Demonologist in the near future with her with, with, with her and I. And of course, Robert, you need to come back and play Lord of the Rings Online. And you don't even... You know what? Just... Um, if you're going to spend money on anything, Lord of the Rings, I'm going to tell you right now, Robert, just get the pack for... Oh, nice. You delivered some stuff. Yes, you did. Nice. nice. I, you know, I like it when you make me money. <laughs> I do. I like it when you make me money. It's like it's like you're... I'm not going to say it. Um, anyway. Yeah, don't yeah, say that. I'm not going to say I it. No. I right where you're going with that. Yeah, no, I'm not going to say it. I'll be, I'll be... Like I said, I'll be respectful. All right, I gotta watch what I'm doing because this is about well, where last like I night. Said, I just go ahead. I just kind of got burned out a low trip. That's why I haven't been back. I just I got burned out. <laughs> well, you know, it's a, when you when you, yeah, but like I was telling you, the new content is really good and the storyline's really good. And they've take they took and they you know the developers, which were the original developers to the game, um, they took one little aspect. I don't want to do that. I'm well, yeah, see, I hit the train brake, and that brings me right to a stop, and I didn't want to do that. Um, I really needed this to come back and slow down. I should have used the independent brake. Um, Lotro, Lord of the Rings Online, those guys, I mean, they're true to the lore of Tolkien. And so they took one little piece of what J.R. talked about, what was happening after the War of the Ring. Um, and the rebuilding of Gondor, and it was one little piece in there about the reunif reunification of Gondor and Umbar, um, and that's where they've gone in this new storyline. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So I mean, that, there's, a, there's a, and you know what the content there is. So the map is huge. Yeah, I know. The map is is extensive. Um, all right, waiting for everything. Looks like we're pretty good. All right, let's go ahead. So we got, oh, total 32 cars. I said 29 in my thing, but it's 32 cars, 1,325 tons. Uh, and the ones on the back are all for Whittier Sawmill. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. I hope you got room at the sawmill for these. Uh, give me one second, and I will answer that question for you. Well, you don't have to go and go look. I'm just going to go jump in. Yeah, I'm pulling uh, I back. Think we should. I, I think we should. I think we'll be all right. I only got four in there right now. Okay. On one track, so we should be good. Okay. Um, and, I mean, if you have to, some of these cars, with some kind of madness, some of these cars turn pretty quick now, too. So, all right, let's um, jump up. Do you up have a road do... train heading towards Appalachia? Do I have Appalachian hardwoods? Yeah. No, I'm actually yeah. coming away from Bryson. I'm about ready to pull oh. out on the main line um, okay. and head for Bryson with okay. this string. Of cars. Here I go. I have, uh, we have two cars here at the front row for Appalachia. Oh yeah, no, I'll pick those up when I come through tomorrow. Um, Do you want me to the sawmill right now? Yeah, you can leave them there. Leave, um, well, after I come through, you can switch them and put them on the on, on in the yard. So, like we were talking, you can set up, put them in W two, 
any cars that you're going to set out in the yard that need to go to a destination, you want to put those in W2. W1 will keep that open through, so I can, when I pass through, I'll drop the cars there. So you can actually, when it comes through, you can actually tell help me too, because I'll just stay on the engine. I'm going to let you play conductor and tell me, you know, give me a that'll do. When the cars are completely in the siding and clear of the switch, you can throw all switches for me. All that good stuff. Let me know when you're going to Gotcha. So, then we're coming to see us. 5 o'clock, 5.30 game time. So we're coming in the evening. We're not quite done yet. We'll have some night operations. That's my first night operations in this simulator. Yeah, I don't think I've done that yet. I don't think I've done night operations there's a lot of things going on. Um, I have I've made quite a bit of money. Oh, I got a message here. Hang on. What? What am I seeing? Oh, it's Legion. Okay, never mind. That's it's Kung Fu beers. Yeah, I, know, I thought somebody was sending me a message in Discord. All right, back to my channel. Anyway, um, what, am I, what was I gonna say? Ooh. Okay, good. Let's go Porter's Road and I'm gonna set on 35. We're coming hot and heavy. I'm leaving guys in the morning. I just passed the uh, cut off the walker. Okay. Gotcha. Let's see what Pacific does a good job. It takes her a while to get up with that with this many cars to actually get up to So, um, yeah, anyway, uh, the mods that I used, um, I had it, there was some trackage, new trackage in around the uh, Whittier engine house, so it really actually gives you kind of a better feed into, into the uh, sawmill, um, and you can run around, but we ran into a problem, and this is what we're doing with a lot of cars is that there were two different mods and they conflicted with each other and my friend Goliath here put one train on top of another train and we thought for the most part we've been having good luck with just me running the mods he signs into the Spindle server and that's good you know everything's fine but then all of a sudden it seemed like yesterday that you know we determined that it is better if he at least runs the same mods that I'm running. Uh, it caused, it basically, we figured out that that's, it caused conflict. So. Yeah, we got two locomotives. A diesel locomotive is damaged. The little switcher down there. The, the, the K35 down there is damaged. Or the K351 is damaged. Uh, then there's Another, I, mean, I got another locomotive that's damaged, and I got a whole bunch of skeleton cars that are damaged. So they're all sitting on the repair tracks right now. I actually hired them. Some, there was so much work that I hired another guy down there. So when we turn the day today, and that's my plan is to get all this done and then turn the day. Um, so. We'll have to make yeah, the only way we're going to do that is, uh, I mean, we can run light power up the Bryson and stick it in the, in the engine house. Or we can go light power. I mean, Dillsboro is a far to run. Bryson's not that far. So if we, well, actually, here, that's the idea. We got, well, we got to get the logging cars. I think there's logging cars. Um, lost track on that. So, no? Okay, I, uh, I brought those down. Alright, so then we can always use the K30, the K35 and run those cars for Appalachian Hardwoods up to Bryson. And once we're in Bryson, we can go ahead, put water in, coal in her, and then stick her in the engine house and make sure that she's tagged for repair. Uh, that's a big tip, guys. Tag your cars. If you're going to need to repair them, you got to make sure you set them on the repair tracks that they're actually tagged for repair. Good. 
clear a single high ball out of Governor's Island. Watching that, watching Fallout, and honestly, I can't wait to get back to it. Mm -hmm. I think I've gone through like four or five episodes now, and it's so. It, it, I mean, there's like, oh my god, everything, everything they did that is so perfect. And then my, I gotta look this one up. My daughter, I'm not saying that she's lying or anything, but I kind of want to wish I had known they had built Diamond City for the for this series and then they opened it up to the public and you can you could have gone there bought stuff from vendors or people walking around in power suits and vault dweller uniforms and i think that would have just been way cool way cool yeah, yeah. yeah. kind of like played, i played the fallout uh, 64 i think it was the one i played or uh, there's Fallout, I mean, I'm looking, there's like Fallout 76. I never, I never got that one because everybody I talked to said that it actually sucked. So, yeah, so I never got it. Oh, um, I think it was Fallout 4 is what I played. Uh, and then Fallout 1. Yeah, and I don't know, I, know, I mean, I know I purchased it, I just don't know where it went. You know, and it, it, that one was a fun one as well, too. Yeah, that was fun, too. That was in, that, in my son. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm like, you found what? Where was that? And he was like, you know, and then, this, you know, he, would, he literally, he opened up everything in the game. He was just, he was very good at it. He loved that game. And then he ended up getting a bunch of mods for it because he played it all the way through he beat it then he was like okay i need to go play mods so there's a lot of mods that had, had extra content oh, all right clear it Eli. i'm not Eli right now God, we also have those four cars that are down at the Hillsborough Yard that need to go to um, Roma. So that those those four cars are to extend the signal system. Yeah, I mean, it's like, the first time, I was like, oh, okay, I'll be honest with you, Robert, he made a mistake, no big deal, we can fix it, you know, that's whatever. But then the second time, I'm like, okay, either Robert's real tired, not le not learning from his mistakes, or we got an issue, and then when I went down there, and you said, okay, I don't see any uh, switch stands, I'm like, I'm looking at a switch stand right now. Yeah, that, you know, we knew then we had an issue, and it was that just the two marks were conflicting. Yeah. Speaking of the Solus one, hang on, I'm going to mute myself here. Don't give me just a moment.
Alright, that was my daughter, and yeah, she's in a very bad area, so, but, um, when she gets home, she wants help setting up her computer and her microphone and the camera, and I think, I think her headset's a USB headset, I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out. Figure out. Right. No, and it's just it's easier when you got the little USB dongle, you just plug them in anywhere and you know. Uh, sometimes I remember the last headset where you had two plugs, you had one for the mic and one for the headphone, and so, you know, a lot of times the game doesn't like that. You know, and or the system hiccups and it doesn't load the drivers and yeah. Well, it's, so it's really I have, I'm coming into Whittier, I have a restricted signal coming into Whittier, so somewhere I probably have a red. So, it's alright. I think usually it's because that's the last signal, and like all the switches, if they're not aligned for mainline servers, it puts it into... Puts it into um, a red dial for me to come to a stop down there. So I'm actually going to ignore my dispatcher and click on resume signal. Okay, stop signal, pass the signal. Yeah, it's a stop signal. So, probably, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at two red split signals down here that are leaving Bryce and in there. Uh, and yeah, there's an actual fuel in that car, but that's the car that's waiting for solar. Uh, you can pick it up or just leave it in Bryce and just put it on one of the smaller yard tracks. Not the runner. Don't ever yeah, like I said, don't ever want to load up the uh, runner on track three. That's you always keep that open, but the one next to it, you can just set it right there. And then that way, because there's be there's I guarantee you that there's already other cars. Like yesterday when I left Robinson Cole, I dropped a string of cars and as I'm leaving the pit, and I'm with, with the ones that were loaded, I loaded one up here. So We got empty cars at the sawmill that need to go up to Connolly Creek. Yeah, I'll take care of that. I'm diverging onto the yard lead. Sure, I see that coming in. I gotta slow this baby down. Okay, so I'm... Are you down here, or I didn't see you? Oh, yeah, I am. Okay, so... When the last set of cars those la uh, clears that switch... I'll come to a stop. Let me know when it clears the switch, and then I will let you go ahead and... cut those cars off, the ones for Whittier. So... You're talking about the switch right back here, right? Yeah, the right. one that I just passed. So that way, it's um, the way those cars are fully in that lead. Yeah, okay. We got lots of oh, some of these are going to be dropped at this. At, um, All right, uh, the first with your car just passed the switch. All right. 
Same phrase. All right, you're clear the switch. Thank you, sir. Let me disconnect. The Go to neutral. Full brakes. All right, you are three up. Okay. You're uncoupled from the Whittier cars. Copy. Heading on to Hillsboro. That is one long train, my friend. <laughs> yep. Up. And it does. And with this locomotive, it takes a long time for the cars to air up. Does it? Oh. Yeah. You got cars here that are going to Sylvan Interchange, too. <laughs> yeah, all the ones are going to so. Oh, which ones? Oh, you're. Oh, well, yeah, I'll pick those up. Yeah. If those were already set out, I would just pull through, then back up, and pay, and then pick them up. But well, the only two extra are the for um, Slay Micah. Oh. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll pick those up. Yeah, and then there's Locust Pin, and then you got one, two, three. Oh, four, that's right. Five, yeah, we talked about change. that. Talked about that last night. So those actually need to will need to be sorted. What I'll do is, yeah. uh, I'll go ahead and take the four that aren't for Sylvan, and All I'll right, put here we go. Get that separated for you. And the sad thing is, I have to say more than half this train, I'm not going to get money on when I drop it because it's like, you know, stuff that I bought for the Fontana Lake Bridge. Uh, and then I've got like the next, like tomorrow, I'm going to get a bunch of cars. Fontana Lake Bridge, the Alarca Junction, uh, starting to build the, I believe it, I have to make it. Actually, did I buy that or did I hold off now I think about it? Um, oh, yeah, I got the Lar Larka Junction, Water Calm, Alarca Branch and starting, Montana Lake Bridge, and I got the uh, cars coming in. Well, actually, the cars, signals from Thomas Valley to Silva, those are the ones that are waiting down there in Gillsborough with me to be delivered. Five cars in the back. All right, let's go to the road. Two thousand gallons and two tons of coal just to get from Bryson to uh, to Whittier. That's a lot. I think yesterday I talked about July. Was 12th and the 13th, Roseville, California, the Union Pacific Big Boy is coming in for a two-day static display, picture opportunity, this is stop on the way, leaving um, Cheyenne, I don't know, this is where it's out of, uh, I'm going to go to Union Pacific's website. I did, I saw yeah, I sorted the one. Are you talking about the ones that need to go? Um, okay, that's all right. The first two of them, the line of the first file, and then the other two of them, the second one. I should have grabbed them all that one. My bad. I can try to get them later. Yeah. Or I can get them later. I think the Slay Michael ships, so that, those are, yeah, that one is, uh, I believe, okay, let's serve that one. 
I think it's yellow in color, isn't it? Isn't the banner or the tab? No? Is it red? Orange. Orange? Yeah, it's kind of in between. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I yeah, think. Kind of that dark. Yeah, I think it's kind of. But I think that if it's run out of Goodyear, it's easier to just basically pass the sighting back in. Yeah, and then you push the cars back to Goodyear. I could get the slow mic and have to get the back to the front Um, how about, why don't you, if you're looking for something to do, why don't you get those, uh, that cut of, um, skeleton cars? Get them up to Connelly? Get them up to Connelly, it'd be Connelly L1 and L3. Uh, let me take a look at them. Okay. Gotcha. Figure out because, like I said, we got we had enough engines to do all the work, but now all of a sudden, all my a lot of my engines are all damaged. So, looks like you this one no, 100%. Okay. Yeah, I'm not that's what we get for being crazy. Uh, yes. Yeah, Whittier will serve, obviously, we got because the yard is in East Whittier, so the town of Whittier is served out of East Whittier, and so is Ella. And then anything on the other side of the Ella Bridge is served by Bryce. That's kind of how that, and until things change and you get more industries. Uh, but yeah, with that new mod, and that's the thing with that new mod, all all my industries, um, if I could go to top tier 5, I did. Um, the new ones are starting at tier 3, so we're going to get a lot of cars. A lot of work. They're going to turn even faster. Just, you know what that means? No money. Yeah. And that just means I'm going to have to try to figure out how I can get all this work done in one day. Okay. Using the run around for the first time here at the strip of Vermont. This is a mod that added this little runaround right here, which is really odd that it it made it dark blue. So I'm thinking that they made this the main line. I'm not entirely pleased with that because I have this issue. So if this is going to be mainline, you see it's dark blue. So if this is going to be mainline service. Then that should be green. The switch should be green here, and the switch should be green here. And I had to go red here because if not, it will come to a stop and say it's got to switch against. So. so I don't know. I mean, the Wilmot run around. I may I may end up removing that one, but if it's package deal, and I think that is, that gives me a run around also in Silva and others, and I'm going to have to keep it, and the, stuff, and the little changes of the video. Yeah. So, I would be, honestly, the light blue that I'm looking at is actually the blue main line, and that's where the station is. So, so when you go to AI it, and you want like the passenger train, I want to leave it alone. I do stand right there. Freeze in the face!
Yeah. Um, crap. Okay, I gotta back her up. Got an issue over there? Yes, I do. The um, passenger service is sitting on the is sitting on the main line. Oh, yeah. Well, that's not good. No. I mean, it's not like they're gonna crash, cause it, but it's gonna cause an issue if I don't back her up. We don't need that. No. Oops. Order. Come on, brakes. Push her back. Silver, Silver Depot, I believe. All right, passenger service is off the main line. Switch back. I tried to jump on the tent and I got stuck in the middle of the train. Yeah, yeah, that was stupid. Though. This was this now I was stuck in between. I don't know how a dog feels when he gets right over by car. Get up! Get up! All right. Oh, now I'm off again. <laughs> no! Off and I'm trying to get back on the train. I can't do it. I'm broken. I didn't jump. I fell. And it just yeah, it's like it's going so fast. I don't want to bring it to a stop. I'm just gonna try it on the side here. I'll probably get knocked off. As we go yeah, I feel like the coyote right now. Come on. Almost had it. Push is not push is not. Ooh. I 
Okay, this will work. I'm between the locomotive and the car. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Let's see. Can I see myself? Oh, I'm riding on the front. I'm riding on the cow catcher of the, of the locomotive. Pretty much standing on the cow catcher on the coupler. But I'm riding the locomotive. It just got in. Oh, just in time for the tunnel. This is a long grade. So, steep grade going up to the tunnel. Then, yeah, it is a long train. It's a heavy train, too. Oh, 1,100. Almost 1,200 tons. Ah. Okay, that's kind of weird camera angles. Oh, yeah. There we go. Then I realized there was a flat car back there, so we can go on the flat car. No, I was like, what's that? You didn't see your surprise? No. Five cars were just delivered. Oh. Oh, I see that now. Yeah, okay. $91. Nice. Yeah, Delivery. All five of those Whittier ones. 86. Yeah, you, get, you know what? Those are all coming from the um, some kind of madness, and we're getting almost like $100 per car. Oh, wow. Nice. Hey. More money, more money. More money. Okay, so I got that. Well, I am going to go AFK for a few minutes. Okay. Just pulling into Dillsboro. I've got, a, I think it's a string of cars at the back. I will be back in a few minutes, my friend. Alright. That I need to set out. Then it looks like I got cars I need to pick up. Oh, one goes to, tan goes to the tannery, so I actually need to... Uh, okay. Take I missed the. I wasn't really paying attention, and I missed this yard lead right here. Should have came down this way, but now I'm gonna have to push back. But not before I pick up the two cars that I have sitting over here. These two cars right there. I'm back in. Pick those up. Well. No, I'm going to leave those. I changed my mind. I'm going to leave those. But I do have to back in and set out the uh, cars that I have for um, the little town of Silva. So I need to get to this switch up here. Oh, actually, that one right back here. Yeah, which is this switch right here. Yeah. Oh, 
Uh, yep, these are all in the back. Okay. This one. Lower down. Uh, all right, so that's right there. That car needs to come off. Okay. So I can bring her to a stop. That one, that one, that one's all going. This one goes. Okay. Oh, SE1. Okay. I need cars for SE1. Um. All right. And then so the interchange. So we went ahead and pop that one loose. Let's set a handbrake on these three. All right. All right, switch and let this go by, and I'll set the switch back to the main line. And then these four cars right here on the map, I need to take those up to Wilmot. So I'll get there a little P, the P. The Pacific Center was the P-17, I think is what it is, or P-18. P-18 will be, I'll grab that, pull these cars out, set them out. Take them, take these up to Wilmot, come back. And then if I have any car, extra cars that need to go to the interchange, I can go put those, drop those to the interchange as well, because... I'm pretty sure that when I take those three cars that I just dropped off down to Silva and put them out, that I'll have cars down there that need to come back. And I know I've got the, the pulpwood cars will need to come back. So they'll come up here and sit up in here, get ready to go back to Connolly. Got a lot of work to do. I'm not even done with, day, with the first day. As long as we get all these, everything... The incoming cars, I think that's how it works. I really haven't come across anything that indicates anything different, but I think any cars that come in for an industry, they have to be worked in a timely manner. The other ones, I'm not sure. I, I have to keep it. Actually, I can look here. Oh, no, they do. The ones that get turned from one industry to another because of some kind of madness and get a bonus for turning them in a timely manner. So we'll do the best we can.
Here I go again, trying to chase the train. But I'm not going as fast as I was, so yep, climb up. All right, we're good. All right, 23 cars, 920 tons for Silva Interchange. We're going to pull through, drop these. These will run around. back up. Actually, I probably pulled into Silva and find a place to park it right there. Actually, I was seeing my friend up to Gilbert. Actually, I should bring up to Gilbert now. I'm all over the place here, my gosh, but I think I should bring up to Gilbert. Top off of pulling water to get her ready for the road trip. Back to, um, back up to, you know, to, Gil to grab the uh, incoming cars, bring up to Gilsboro. I need a better switcher. That's all it is. I just need a better switcher. I want a better switcher. I can either go... Just a one 49,000 pound practice effort. Or uh, 51, 51,000 pounds. 4.3 factor of adhesion. So this switcher is actually better. 16 tons of coal, 8,000 gallons of water. $22,000. I have $8,000. I could take out a loan, buy that one, and turn that into my switcher slash slash is an early though. Switch, switcher slash local out of silver. Well, then. See what the end of the day brings, and then maybe tomorrow I might be getting a new locomotive. Tomorrow will be the night. Game time tomorrow. Yes. Those go back to Robinson. I've got some coming down from Robinson. Wow. I got, I got cars already going to the Silva Interchange. So I think my little local is going to be making a run to the interchange. Um, this is new here. Those go, that's new. So uh, first, my first iteration out here, all these have to go back up. Oh my god, I got nothing but pickup. Alright, well, we got work to do yet. 
but really this day is not going to be done. I'll be doing a lot of night work here, I think. Would be interesting working at night. I've never done that. So we're going to see what this what this entails. Dropping this off. Um, I'm debating whether to advance today. What do you guys think I should do? Did I advance today? Did I just keep working? Did I see what my funds are? I'm take out a loan. I need a. I need that switch here. That 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 the little. You know what? I think I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna drop this off. Run up light power with the Pacific here, the one that I'm in. End of track. Okay, go manual. Here's the interchange. I already have a problem. Look at this. No switcher. No switch. No switch. And it just, look what it just did. This is what happened. Okay. So that's exactly what happened to Robert because a mod was faulty. No switch stand here. It gave me the tracks, but took away the switch stand. And, and then I tried to come to a stop and it hit and just bounced it all back. Look, I'm on the ground. I've got damage. I got cars on the ground. The entire train is sitting on the ground. All because of a faulty mod. What? I got the other half of the train is up here. It bounced the other half of the train all the way up here. Uh, okay, well. That being said, I gotta remove the mod. Um, yeah, I gotta move the mod. Find out why I didn't get the switch stands until I and then until I do, we're not gonna run it. So I'm actually gonna end the stream here because what I'm gonna do, guys, it's gonna be a short stream today. You can see the damage. I'll I am gonna fix this. How do I fix this? Well. You come real close and do shift R if I can get in or control R. Oh, I, wait, is it even going to let me? It's bottom shoot. Oh, here we go. Maybe do that. Now I could open that. Whoa. I just found out something cool. Okay. I was clicking on the bottom shoot. Okay. And one more. So clicking and holding on the side of the of the car, not on the shoot, I just learned something there. Uh on the side of the car, you can hit shift R and it'll move it onto the tracks. Problem is I got this entire train. Now here's my thought on this. Okay. If this was my fault. If I hit a if I hit an end of track bumper real hard, if I hit another train real hard, um, I'd I'd eat it. I would. I would eat the. I would eat everything. But I'm not going to. I'm I'm I, I'm going to restart with the save last save game that I have, um, and do everything all over again. And I am going to remove the mod. This, like I said, this was, n I expected the mod to be functional. It's not functional. Uh, where's my switch stand for right here? And you look at, look at how it's, and right here. So these three are right. These two are wrong. Something is conflicting. So I need to resolve that conflict before I continue. And that's my, I guess it's my bad too, for I didn't double check the mod. But I just assumed it was right. So if it was my fault and not mod related, then I would have to go through and eat the damage 
done uh, on this particular car. Let's see. Yeah, condition is 0%. I would get no money for delivering these. So, but that's mod related. So, there's a lesson, guys. Uh, lesson for me, lesson for you. Um, I think, was it? Oh, Hank. Hank has just joined the server. What's up, Hank? I'm not here. Oh, you're not. Well, I, I don't know if you just saw what happened. I forgot. I'm talking to nobody because he's not here. Did you witness the, the shenanigans? Nope. I literally just sat down at my computer. Oh, okay. Um, you sound tired. It's been a busy morning. Wow. Where's my coffee? More coffee. So I've got a bunch of mods. Um, thank you to mostly Quincy White, but I'm going to blame you too. Cause I think you're modding as well. And But I'm finding that some of the mods conflict with each other. Have you found that? Um, Since I only run with three mods no i have not found any conflicts okay so mods that seem to work fine are um bryson uh add, there's one that adds more industries at bryson in and around appalachia hardwoods that one seems to be fine uh the issue i ran into down here i just wrecked a um I think it was like a 20 some odd car, 20, some 20 some odd cars, my brand new, um, well not the, the Pacific, everything's sitting on the ground and half the train got bounced back up into Silva. Um, and it's because if you're looking at my stream, I came down, it was showing end of track. I'm like, okay, that's not right. But then I was expecting a switch stand and I came down here to flip the switch. And if you look at the tracks, it's like a, it's it's, like, it's more like it's acting like there's a bumper right here, and I hit the bumper at speed. I am back, sir. Welcome back. So Thank this you. massive wreck is all sitting on the ground. Now my explanation to viewers of my stream is, if that was a bumper, another train, um, whatever, and I did it, then you know what? I would eat this. I would eat this, put it all back on there, take the hit, go pay for damage. But this is this is mod caused. And the mod's faulty. So I'm actually really considering and I think I'm I'm just not considering. I'm gonna I am I'm gonna shut the server down and relaunch it with uh the last save game that I had and have to do all this over again. But before I do that I'm gonna remove the mod. So, Which mod? Um, it's it's one that one of the ones that added the extra runaround track down here at the Silva interchange. Because mm. normally there's just three tracks down here. Well, now there's five, and so oh. I need to look at which one added the extra. You know, the, there's, two, there's two that add extra track, and I'm going down to the extra, other end of the interchange. And I don't even see, yeah, I don't even see switch stands down there. Hmm. So. Hmm. So, yeah, I don't know. I have to go back and take a look and see. Maybe there's an update to an asset. Um, not just, I mean, not just Maybe. the mod, but the required assets that you need. Maybe there was an update that I didn't grab. Um, I guess it's possible. Yeah, it's kind of like what happened there in Whittier as well, too. The two mods conflicting at Whittier, causing you to wreck. Yeah. That's what just happened to me down here. Two mods. Oh. Yeah. I mean, if you go, if you pop in and look at my screen, I'm looking at the train right now. <clears throat> Let me uh, op open up the... Yeah. Hear that? I'll just share it in Discord. 
Oh, I'll give you a stream. Don't worry about it. Okay. Easy. Yeah, dude. You're already using enough bandwidth doing that, so you don't uh, want to yeah, tax it true. anymore. Okay. How you doing, Hank? I'm doing well. How about you? Oh, just got done feeding the, the hungry hippos, my kids. <laughs> so, like... Yeah. Oh, that's weird. I, I mean, because it happened to me last time, it happened to you today, that's just... Yeah, it, it's it, it's the conflicting mods. So, anyway, like, there's half my train got bounced back up into the East Silva yard area of the industry. But then the other half is down here. This car I put back on the rails, but the red, I mean, it was on the ground. I mean, this is bad. This is so bad that I should actually rename my look of my, my, uh, my train company to Norfolk Southern. Oh, I just went there. So, all right. Well, with that, I, I am going to close out my stream. I'm going to go ahead and try to figure out which mod is causing the conflict. So, in a future, we'll talk about a future railroader mod um, stream. I will talk about that. But yeah, this was ugly. So. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. You know, typical, if you like the content, you know, subscribe, thumbs up, notification, share, all that good stuff. Um, I want to build the, well, the Railroader community is having no problem. Hey, what's up? Yeah, you know what, Quincy, you're just the guy that I might want to bounce this off of because I need to figure out which mods are conflicting because it's too, I mean, this is, I don't know if you saw but I added a couple of mods and I need to go down and take a look. Maybe it's some, uh, maybe it's something needs to be updated, but there's no switch stand right here. No switch stand for this. These are the ones that come with these three come with the game. These two are added through mods and yeah, it's uh, it was like hitting a bumper at speed and it caused this wreck. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump off in the stream with this ugly mess sitting on the ground. I am not going to take the financial hit for something that should have been right to begin with. Um, even though I did choose to install the mod, but yeah, I'm not going to let the, I'm not going to do that. So anyway, with that, I'll end the stream with this ugliness. Thank you very much for, um, for hanging out with me quincy thanks for showing up and chat with me in uh discord or even jump into my discord channel hank's hanging out here i am gonna um i saw that i did go there uh as i was helping robert install the mods on you know, the same mods we found that too that in order to run on multiplayer you almost have to have the same mods as the host so we ran into that yesterday uh, by getting you know Robert to have the same exact mods I'm running. It solves some conflict issues. Um, but I did the uh, industries was updated and there was another mod that was updated. And literally I just installed those yesterday and they're updated today. So I need to go take a look and maybe like I said maybe there's an asset mod that uh, that has been updated and wasn't notified. Anyway, all that being said. I'll catch you guys later. Quincy, I'll see you in Discord. Have a good one. Uh, this wasn't, this was, yeah, the random derail. Uh, I haven't had an issue with that um, from base game. I never, really never had an issue with that. Um, this was more like it came up. I did get the notification, end of, end of track. The train was trying to stop. I screwed up. I'm like, end of track. No, I mean, I thought I was reading the mod right. And then right when I saw how the switches were and there's no switch there, really, it was an end of track. It was like, you know, it was like hitting the bumper at speed. So, but I got to remove one, I think is what I got to do. So, um, but anyway, I'll catch everybody later. Have a good one. Robert, uh, hang out, Hank, hang out. And I'll see everybody else. Ooh, who just ran down there? Is that Hank? I'm I'm floating over here on top. I just ah. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyway, I'll catch everybody later. <laughs>